Dominic Skinoth and it is March 27th, 2015, and, and the moon uh, saw Ak eat some, the duck moon. And John and I are out to do a quick survey of Spopikami. I did receive word from somebody um, on Facebook the other day that, that the uh, American Widgeons had showed up here and um, on the adjacent river uh, killdeers so we gotta keep our eyes out for for uh, the new arrivals got a goose out here calling I found some lingerie <laughs> I don't know if it's all the way there. Is there is some still? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> this is the leaning leaning lingerie tree. Formerly known as the big brown bat tree, but recently it's uh, been home mostly to lingerie. I think that might be a scarf actually, but <laughs> All right, so the scenario for the north half of the pond, we saw there was one goose couple way out that way. There's also a mallard couple out that way. Um, there is a second mallard couple in here by the cattails. Um, there's a opspinny couple here. Um, and then that would be at the south end of the cattails. And another here. Four goose couples from the Beaver Lodge North and two mallards. Got a group of sounds like wax wings actually, the little sound that they're making. Are they wax wings? Yes. Now, which ones are they? That's okay. The other did they got Did they got yellow on them or? I, I it sold the light. All hole. gray. Yeah, light's pretty bad, hey. I'm betting they're not the cedar waxwings yet. I'm betting they're still bohemians. pairs of geese out here on the south pond and mallards. One, two, three, at least four more, maybe maybe even five more goose couples out here. Several mallard couples I have not seen uh, any widgeons as yet. That's right. And it'll switch out. We'll start getting the cedar wax wings for summer. You got it? Not quite. Oh, yeah, that's a house finch. Got a American house finch here. Probably some other ones in the brush nearby.
Is that local? Naked? No, it was a, it's an escaped ornamental. I know the hooks are on the surface where this fire is asking. So, so I think the homestead has brought these in. That could have been, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got a Tartarian honeysuckle um, that the first leaves are starting to appear. So that's a new new note phenologically out here for this week. Yeah, we got a pair of uh, black capped chickadees down this way. Buds of these poplars here are still not opening like they are up above in the neighborhoods. It's just checking out the, <laughs> the buds of the Saskatoon here opening up now too. Just, just seeing the <coughs> the uh, leaf starting to emerge. It's like we got a bald eagle, maybe. I think it's an immature bald. See if you can see if you'll come over this way, not sure. Given that it's mating season, we haven't seen too many nesting season, we haven't seen too many eagles lately. Over here at the bridge to the typical goose activity. Again, we should be seeing, we should start laying eggs here any time if they're not already starting. I gotta get out to some of the islands and check. Not quite sure what this guy's about. He's just watching, staying out of the wind. Might be looking for building material. Yeah, it might be building material or it might be uh, insect that's emerging. I saw a couple of little small wolf spiders along the way. Um, yeah, pretty quiet day and all, but uh, it was good to see the bohemian waxwings and know that they're still here. That's a phenological note. A couple of plants that are buds are popping. The Saskatoon and the Tartarian honeysuckle especially. House finch. And uh, yeah, too bad. No widgeons. Look, men 